Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's vlog, I thought I would address the question, how do you know when you're keto adapted or fat adapted and how long does it take to get to this phase? So I think it's important to understand the difference between being in ketosis and being keto adapted. So when you're in ketosis, your body is producing ketones and that is a result of being depleted of carbohydrates or glucose. Uh, it doesn't take long to get into ketosis for a majority of people, sometimes 24 to 48 hours, sometimes sooner, sometimes longer. For me, it took forever because I was yo-yoing between the two and I didn't fully deprive my body of carbohydrates enough or uh, there are other reasons as well. Maybe my protein was too high, who knows? So it's often not too difficult for people to get into ketosis, but the issue is staying in ketosis. And that's what a lot of people struggle with. You have to remember that our bodies and our brains are primed to kind of go to carbohydrates and glucose for energy, for fuel. Uh, and making the transition is really tough because you're really confusing your body. Me personally, I've been running off carbohydrates for 23 years. And it's only in the last year or so that I've transitioned to using fat so when I first started the diet my body was really confused on which energy source to use and so depleting the glycogen stores it's then kind of got no choice but to go to the fat stores for energy in the early stages of the diet you're so sensitive to carbohydrates so if you're exposing your body to even a few grams too many it's going to take those carbohydrates and use it for energy a lot of people fall into the keto flu and are the horrible symptoms because they're not providing themselves with enough fat to replace the glycogen which was previously used for fuel. So when you are in ketosis in the initial stages of the diet, it's going to be so easy to fall out. So therefore you wanna aim for keto adaption so that doesn't happen. Keto adaption on the other hand means that your body is efficiently using fat for fuel over glucose. And there are so many different benefits to being adapted over just being in ketosis. So it's absolutely worth sticking it out to get to that phase. It can take as little as two weeks to become fat adapted and it can take like quite a few weeks if you're not kind of compliant with tracking or you are insulin sensitive. So the difference between being in ketosis and being fat adapted is your body and your brain are no longer confused about which fuel source to rely on. So if you're not all in in starting this diet and you're gonna have carb days and you're gonna binge or you're going to have cheap meals and things like that, you're not going to efficiently get into the adaptation phase and that's a shame because it is really great. I'll talk about a few of the benefits of being adapted. So the first one and a lot of people would love this one the most is appetite suppression. So once you're fat adapted, you're not hungry anymore. You can make informed decisions about what's going onto your plate and what's going into your body. There's no hangry moments. There's no irritability about food, nothing like that. And your another one is your sugar cravings are completely killed by fat. I've been meaning to do a carb up video for you guys and Honestly, I just don't feel like doing it. I don't feel like I need a carb up. Like I'm so satisfied with the foods that I'm eating because I'm full, I'm energized, and I ultimately feel great. Initially, when starting this diet, you're going to lose weight. Well, most people lose weight, but it's once you're adapted that the real fat burning begins and you're actually relying on stored fat for fuel and you're burning that. So for me, I need to increase my calorie goal in order to kind of not fade away, I suppose. Another benefit of being adapted is it's harder to fall out of ketosis. So I'm not sure how many of you follow my Instagram, but I posted a my story of a keto stick that I'd peed on at like 8 p.m the day after I'd had like a big boozy day and evening. And I was still deep in ketosis and that kind of like blew my mind. I knew that I was adapted and that was something that would happen, but it was just so interesting to see the color on that strip like after I'd had such a, um, such a big weekend. It's just so interesting to see how resistant I am now to carbohydrates and how my body will always fall back on that fat source over the carbohydrate source now. 
And not that I have carb ups, but occasionally I will have something like a treat. Like a couple of weekends ago, I had like half a block of Cadbury fruit and nut, and I was still in ketosis. But if you were, if you are to fall out of ketosis, if you were to have like a big carb up, like a big meal, or like a day, or a weekend where you're definitely testing negative to being in ketosis on Monday, it's really not that difficult to get back into ketosis. You don't have to go through the stages of risking the keto flu and all of that. You don't have to start from scratch. You can fall back really quickly and really easily into ketosis. And finally, this is my favorite benefit. So I am clearly not in this diet for weight loss. Like I have a very um, small body percentage already, uh, but the mental and physical performance of this diet are unreal. So I have booked myself into a marathon in a month's time. I have only ever run 21 kilometers, so half a marathon in my life, and I did that a year ago. And for some reason, I am confident that in a month's time, I'll be ready to run a full marathon. And it's because I'm now running off fat and my energy and my endurance is just insane. It's more for performance for me now because I love the benefits. So I love the physical fitness that comes with it. So the endurance, I ran 16 kilometers this morning and I ran that on a bulletproof coffee and 10 almonds and I was fine usually i'm quite dependent on like gels and things like that and i'll always eat like a substantial breakfast before doing a run like that but this morning i just had so much energy i could have kept going and yeah fat for running is amazing and i've been told that but it's not until you actually do it and you feel it that you actually believe it and the mental side of things i'm going back to uni in a couple of months because i want to study and i want to use my mental clarity and my focus for something, yeah, for something beneficial. So I'm gonna study nutrition, which will be fun. I'm looking forward to that. So these are just a few of the benefits of being on the keto diet and they're the benefits that come with being adapted. So stick out the rough early phases of making the transition because when you think about it, your body is just totally changing its mechanics really so you're becoming a fat burning machine and you've been relying on glucose and carbs your whole life so just bear with your body listen to your body make sure you're providing it with lots of vitamins and nutrients a lot of sodium potassium magnesium and all your b vitamins as well you've got to keep those up but thank you so much for watching and i will see you next time